to us. Um, mm-hmm. How's the pandemic affected the sex lives of you or your friends or your clients? Uh, well, I think the pandemic has made, it's made sex really complicated, right? Yeah. Um, you know, it's so hard to talk about sexual risk on its own. Mm-hmm. And then when you include the pandemic, um, nothing's really, nothing's really safe. Like, you know, for example, if I am having, like, if we were talking just STIs and it wasn't pandemic time, uh, and somebody said, what has your risk been like? I can say, oh, you know, I had condomless sex with this person, but I'm on prep or, um, I've had oral with a few people, no barriers, um, but also no symptoms, right? That is very clear. Mm -hmm. But now with the pandemic, if, if the quarantine time is 10 days to 14 days and I've seen a friend recently and I hugged them or I went to the grocery store, even though I wore a mask, I pretty much, my window is 10 days where I don't know where I could be looking for. Like I, I can't tell somebody, Oh, you know, like, uh, I for sure don't have any COVID symptoms. Um, Mm. and it's safe for you to come over. Right because I'm probably gonna go grocery shopping or I'm gonna leave my house or be in a situation several times during a week. So I'm always in that incubation period. So I never really know. Right. Um, and so I think that's been really tough. I also yeah. think that um, we've experienced a lot of grief, you know, spending time with ourselves, locked in our apartments or whatever it is, and really grieving like our sexual identities and our sexual experience, right? Like. It's another way that we connect with ourselves. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, people talk about, oh, I can't go to the gym anymore, or I like to bike, or I like to do this, that, and the other. And all of those things are ways that we connect with ourselves. Well, so Mm -hmm. is our sex life, right? And so to me, the pandemic has been a lot of loss around touch, sexual connection, Mm -hmm. knowing what it feels like to be desired, (laughs) you know? And, And it also comes with some remorse i think like oh i should have made better use of my time before this thing hit although you couldn't really like anyway so that's a little bit about what i've been experiencing and people in my life have been experiencing whether clients or friends yeah you know i was noticing that just the other day as the weather's getting a little bit warmer here and spring's (laughs) happening and i'm thinking oh all the spring things i'm just kidding not gonna do but how I don't feel sexy because a big part of feeling sexy was when I would put on, you know, a little bit more dressed up clothes and just like go shopping, go, you know, yes. like, like go to dinner somewhere. And, and, it, and it was like a big, you know, it's like, what's the point of a date at home? You know, like, <laughs> so anyway, I feel you. It's yeah, very interesting. It's mm-hmm. all very real. <laughs>